Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, in this one, I'm going to talk about winter 2018 semester. Um, hopefully this will help you, help some of you gain a better understanding of a similar schedule um, with the following mentioned classes. So, um, I took the following classes for my winter 2018 in addition to two credits of Europe, totaling 16 credits. Um, it doesn't sound too bad, but um, it was an interesting experience just as with fall 2017. So as an overview, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most difficult, all of them except for Asian were about um, or 6 or 7, um, while Asian 367 was about a 3. So um, starting off with X280. So this class was definitely a lot more different from 183, but I did go in expecting that. I wasn't going in saying, oh, I nailed 183, must be, 280 must not be too bad, but um, I was quickly proven wrong in a sense. So this isn't going to change anything. I mean, I knew that like it's on a screen that I got a B plus, but um, I technically was on track to get an A or at least an A minus. But then finals came around and that basically bombed it. So it's rough. Anyway, um, so I had Camille um, as my professor and there were two exams, both out of 100 points. We had free response and multiple choice with the Scantron. And there were just like lectures and exams and products. There were anything like clicker, cl clickers or um, quizzes or whatever. So I have my grades for the projects listed. And in terms of difficulty, projects one and four are probably the easiest. Two was sort of medium. Five was a little bit harder. And three was the hardest. And these difficulties were rated based on their amount of time, uh, the amount of time spent on it, and as well as... Um, the thought process that actually goes into completing a project. Overall, this class was okay, but I really wish I had done better on a final. Um, for 216, so let me just say that I like this class a lot better than 215. Um, maybe it's because I understood the material better, or because the teacher was better, or maybe both. Um, but I have Professor Finelli. This was her semester, her first semester teaching 216, so it was understandable that she was not as confident as she was in 215. But I did like her lecture style, um, but if I had any questions, I would went to Professor Winnick's office hours. So as a side note, for those who have heard rumors about him, uh, Professor Winnick, he actually is not bad at all. He actually um, was extremely helpful in office hours, uh, but obviously it really depends on what you're asking. The reason why I say this is because when I usually go, I'm asking about MATLAB, and usually those are questions are like the last question, you know, the hardest ones. Um, so he was really patient, but for students, I, I have noticed that for students who came in asking about like really simple questions um, that you could just Google or like look at the lecture slides, he will get pretty patient and could, his tone could sound condescending, but nonetheless, he was, he's actually pretty helpful. Anyway, this class had two exams, uh, two, sorry, two midterms and one final, all of them 25% of your grade, and they were fair in terms of difficulty and the practice exams given to you were actually really representative, and homework and labs were not bad at all, um, but they were pretty time consuming, especially the uh, homework. Um, but as a suggestion for success in class, definitely review notes and utilize your cheat sheet, and, but most importantly, go to office hours. So here's a slide for you guys to see. Um, this is the graphical representation of the grade distribution for winter 2018 and the scale. So yeah. All right, so on to PCAM. So I had Gottfried, and she was a phenomenal lecturer. I got an A minus, um, but that was a blessing to me. But I will get into the reason why I think that was a blessing to me later on. Um, we had five five midterms and one final. But since I was used to this kind of you know quiz slash exam every other week from physics to forty, I wasn't really surprised or and I didn't really mind. On top of that, I found that the having like so many exams actually help me keep on top of the material um, and allow me to have some more leeway with my grades uh, because there's a lot more points. Um, but that the number of the numerous amount of points can only help to a certain extent because it's a straight scale. Um, there were clickers, discussion, and homework and all of which counted towards your grade if you wanted to. to um, so if you really want to see how the grading is determined, you can go on LSA course guide and check out a past syllabi. Um, she was really very, she was very nice and gave everyone extra credit if they did surveys and most importantly she had improvement points so which are basically extra points added towards your grade if you show a trend improving on your exams and it's extremely helpful um, 
when it comes down to beating the straight scale. So if you're like one point away, but you know, like if you say it's at 100 points and to get an A, you have to get like an 80, um, and you're like at 79, but it turns out you did like 10 points better on the final than you did on like all the midterms in general, like as, as an average, she'll actually bump it up and that will bump your grade up to, up to an A. So that really helps. Um, so uh, as an advice on how, how to do well, definitely do the prep, which is basically like the PCHEMS course pack, but you have to print it yourself, you can't really buy it. Um, the prep is very, very, very helpful. And I found that if, you know, like if I did all of it, like I tr and I treated it as an exam, I would do really well on the actual exam. So I definitely say do the prep. Also to be sure to use Piazza. She does a really great job responding to your questions uh, in a timely fashion. And lastly, utilize the SLC group if you have to. I did and I found it to be sort of a motivation for me seeing other people working. Then I'm like, oh, I got probably got, I should probably do work too. On to Asian. So I have Professor Baxter and I'm A. This was a pretty easy class for me and I definitely recommend it um, for engineers for looking to satisfy their theoretical level humanities. Um, obviously this helps all essay students as well. Um, the lectures were a bit boring, but exams and other assignments were really easy. And yeah, I mean, like I got really nothing else to say about this besides take it if you want an easy A. So your job is basically the same thing last semester. Um, I can't really go much into detail for my research. Uh, but as a summary, um, the semester was also pretty rough. Uh, I would say it was as busy and hard as last semester, but I came out with a pretty good GPA, so I'm not complaining about that. But um, it all sort of came crashing down during finals. I mean, like during the semester, it was like I was sort of hanging on, but then finals was like, you, you're gonna die. Um, and the reason why is because I had 280 and Asian on Thursday, which is the first day of exams, and I had PCAM Friday morning at 8 a.m. So I basically had three exams all within 24 hours, and I knew that I had to fail one of them, not that I wanted to, but like I knew that if I had to do well in general, that one of them had to take the hit. And that one was X280. So, but anyway, I survived. It was definitely doable for anyone who's looking to have a similar schedule um, or workload for their semester. So know that it's definitely not impossible. Uh, that's all for today. If you found this helpful and you really liked it, please check out my other videos and subscribe for more. Thank you.